Okay, so it's very typical for these nimble boats to get really chalky. This one is a 93 model, and it is not a nomad, it's actually a, a vagabond. But uh, I've seen a lot of people buff them out, and uh, this boat has not been very well cared for, care, cared for in the last several years, so uh, we'll see what happens. You can see how chalky it is right now. I've just got a Harbor Freight um, buffer that's got multi-speed and it's got a Harbor Freight wool pad on the end, a hook and loop. And uh, I have some cutting compound. It is buff and cut compound. It is Aquatech, which is a North Carolina uh, company, Southeast North Carolina. Uh, I'm sure there are many buff and cut compounds that could work. But let's give it a shot. We'll see what happens. And let me be crystal clear. I'm in no way an expert on this. I've watched a couple of YouTube videos, and that is the extent of my experience. So there are probably better ways to do this. I'm gonna slap this boat is clean. I've washed it, I've pressure washed it. I'm gonna slap a bunch of this on the compound. I'm gonna do a small area here. They say to do a small area, so that's what I'm gonna do. Then I'm going to lay onto this thing with the buffer. The buffer is going to be on low speed at first, a low speed. And um, we'll see what happens. That's about the lowest setting. Now instead of boring you, I'm going to do that for about 10 minutes. Okay, so that was probably about five or six minutes. I increased the speed a little bit. And that's really only up to number one on this. That's only up to number one. But uh, I'll give you a close up so you can see the progress that was made. Um, here's obviously that's the area I did. And there's the chalky area. And like I said, the boat was washed. It was washed and pressure washed. Now, I don't know how this looks on the camera, but uh, there's no real reflection. Uh, it still doesn't look good, I'm not gonna lie. I will probably end up painting this boat and just roll and tip the hull. Uh, but that is uh, what you can expect out of some dead paint on a nimble. With That's only one pass with the cutter. Uh, the other side of the boat, I did several passes. And uh, there's no uh, there's no polish on the boat. That's just cutting compound. And like I said, I don't know how it looks to you. You can see on top. I haven't touched the spray rail or whatever we're going to talk call this part of the top. Uh, I just did the hull, and the whole hull looked terrible. But it still, it honestly still it looks terrible. Uh, the scratches were done by this little plastic piece before I got the boat. Uh, so I can't do anything about them unless I paint the boat. So there it is. There's your uh, nimble paint being buffed, if you're curious.